Welcome everyone and um, in this video I'm going to cover how to create a Java project and how to import your files and then I'll do a quick show of um, running test cases. So when your program, uh, when your Eclipse starts up, it should look something like what you're seeing on the screen. So you can close the welcome tab by just clicking the close here. And this is what it should look like, right? So you have no packages on the left unless you did a Hello World tutorial, in which case you have that. Um, and of course, if you did the tutorial, you already know some of what I'm going to show you. But let's do it anyway. So in order cr to create a Java uh, project, we're going to go to File, and then New, and Java Project. Just waiting for the next window to show up. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> of course, it's, I gotta move it up so you can see it. So um, this is what it's gonna look like, and you give it some name, right? Whatever you want to name it, it's up to you. I'm gonna just call it tutorial because that's what this video is about. Oop, I misspelled it. Okay, so you just give it a project name. You can uh, change where it's being saved, but it will save it in the workspace you have created when it opened. So you can use it as default location. And then over here on the JRE, it should already um, use the one that you have, the newest one you have, the JRE, your Java runtime. Uh, but if it's showing, if in this uh, pull down it's showing one of these lower versions, just make sure you go to the highest version. My highest version happened to be 8. Um, so that's what comes out by default, that's what I would use. Um, it doesn't truly matter for what we're going to do in this class, which level you have, but you always want to use the newest. So once you do that, uh, then you can just click uh, finish on the bottom and it's going to create the project. So here we are. We have this project and if you open it by clicking on this arrow, you have you see it has the source and then it has your uh, JRE library, right? The and jars to run it for 1.8. All right. So that's how you create a Java project, right? Simple. So the next thing we want to do, we want to import files. So you're going to be importing two things. You're going to be importing the zip that I gave you, which has uh, the tutorial example files that I will uh, go over in the next few videos, but I want to show you how to import it. And then you also have your exercise that you'll be doing this week, which is the part.java. So let's uh, pull in, let me see. Actually, I'm going to use this uh, project for my next video. So let me import my tutorial.zip right into here, and then I'll be able to use it in my next uh, video. So I'm going to click on source so that it's selected. And then I'm going to do right click with my mouse so this window comes up. And then go to import, click on that. And I'm going to be pulling in a zip file. So I'm going to expand this general tab and then I'm going to select archive file right because the zip is an archive then I'm going to do next and then you go to browse and you have to find the directory that you have put your tutorial zip file in so anytime the window comes up for my windows Okay, just go to where you have your zip file. So mine happens to be on my C disk, and I have this temp UMUC. <clears throat> so that's when I uh, click it on here, here's my tutorial.zip. So I'm going to select it and then do open. Okay, so here it is. And these are the files inside of that zip file, right? So already extended it. And if I do finish and I go to my source directory, here they are, right? They put it right in default package. Now notice there are errors, right? And the reason is, is because these are JUnit uh, files, test files. And in order for the um, JUnit to, to work, 
you have to have the JUnit class library included in your project. So we can do that. So I'm going to select tutorial. I'm going to right click. Then I'm going to go to build path. Then I will do add libraries and select JUnit. Next. Now, in my particular environment, I only have JUnit 3 and 4. You might actually have JUnit 5, depending which JRE you, you have. Um, so I'm going to select 4. Now, you can use 4 or 5. It doesn't matter. Uh, 5 has some additional uh, features that we're not going to use for any of the exercises or projects. So um, 4 is sufficient. But if you want to play with 5, that's fine too. Anyway, then you do click on Finish. And notice my errors went away. Okay? So now I have a tutorial project, Java project, with my files. So now let's create another Java project because I'm going to pull in the part.java. Now could I have put it right in the same one? Sure, but why mix two things, right? So I'm going to go to File, New, Java Project. I'm going to type in Exercise. <clears throat> Java 8, finish. So here it is, right? So now I'm going to import part.java, which is a little different because now it's not an archive, it's just a single file. So I'm going to select source because that's where I wanted to go. I'm going to right click, go to import. And now we still have to choose the general, but now instead of archive, we're going to say file system because we want to pull in the actual file. So then next, again, browse. I have to go to my C disk. That's where I have that. Uh, do, 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 do. So you, you go wherever you have where your subdirectory is. So then the last subdirectory where the file is, right? You cannot go any file. That's not actually going to show you the file because it's pulling every file that's in this subdirectory. So when I click OK, I just happen to have fi two files in there, part Java and tutorial zip. You might have more, but what you want to do is you just want to select the one you want to import. So it's part.java, that's all I want to import. And then I'm going to say finish. And if I go to source, here it is, my part.java, OK? So that is all there is to creating Java projects and to importing. And let me show you just how to run. I'll go over that a lot more in the uh, when I go through tutorial, but just in case you want to play around. So these, these two right files are my tests. And like I said, I'll go over them in more detail. It's opening up. So here they are. Uh, but to run it, all you do is you click, you right click on the file you want to run, you go to run as, and then select JUnit, and it's going to run. And it's going to create a tab, or if you already have the tab, it will make it the current tab and show you the results of the running. So here it is. So these are the tests it ran, and it shows you how many ran, 12, how many errors there were, and how many failures, 6. Okay, but again, I'll go over a lot more detail in the next few tutorials. So see you there.